Okay, we're following 421 now, and we are going to come up here and cross the Milton Madison Bridge. Now, this bridge has got some serious problems. Uh, there's been a lot of even national media attention on this bridge. And they're trying to get the money to put together to replace it, and it looks like they're going to just replace the superstructure and leave the, uh, the piers in place. But about this bridge is how close these lanes are together. Uh, I'm in a pretty small car right now, so it's not so bad, but if you're in a larger truck or a van, you really feel like you're on top of the guardrail and you really feel like you're on top of the other lane. Going uh, just under 30 miles per hour right now. Coming down uh, to the riverfront in Milton, Kentucky. Okay, we're on the Milton side and we're going to head back up and cross this bridge and head back to Madison. Um, now this, uh, this older bridge, it's pretty heavily trafficked and when they take it down for construction, right now the plan is to have a ferry service between Milton and Madison. Um, the problem with that is the ferries they're going to bring in can't accommodate but about half of the traffic this bridge sees every day. And it can't accommodate any of the heavy traffic, so all of that's going to have to be rerouted up to the Markland Dam or down to Louisville. Um, already that's started to take place because they put a, a weight restriction on the bridge because of the uh, deterioration. sure if you can see that as, as we go by here there's a lot of rust um, and corrosion on these supporting materials and there was an inspection sometime earlier this year that found this bridge is in pretty sorry shape it's got to go and we're back in Madison crossing the Indiana state line 